Hey, it's Thomas here, and today we're gonna check out a Red Seas Calcium Pro test kit, my all-time favorite calcium test kit. If you want a quality test kit to keep tabs on the calcium level of your tank with an easy to follow visual instruction card, premium dropper bottle, glass cuvettes, and a titrator that makes the test itself a breeze to perform consistently with a very simple and easy to read endpoint color, all stored in a hard case to keep that test kit and its components neatly packed and safe from splashes, then check out Red Sea's Calcium Pro test kit. Calcium is one of the most important elements for coral growth and one of the two elements that make up the majority of a coral's calcium carbonate skeleton, which makes monitoring and dosing calcium an integral part of reef keeping. The majority of test kits for monitoring calcium are titration based and depending on the quality of the components, volume of the sample water that's used and the starkness of that endpoint color change, some kits can be more difficult to get consistent results with. Red Sea's Calcium Pro Test Kit is phenomenal. It uses a larger five milliliter sample of water and premium components, making for a test that is easy to perform, easy to read, that produces consistent results regardless of a reefer's experience level. It is hands down my all time favorite calcium test kit. I've been using it for years and I still prefer it over all the other test kits that are available. Let me show you why. In the box, you'll find the hard case containing reagents A, B, and C, a micro scoop, a glass cuvette, a five milliliter syringe, a one milliliter syringe with a precision tip, the titrator, and the instruction card and manual. The visual instruction card is really easy to follow. The test starts with five milliliters of sample water, which is more than many other calcium test kits, and that larger sample really helps to make sure you get an accurate reading test after test. Next, the dropper bottle for Reagent A is a quality dropper, which might not seem like a big deal, but being able to get five consistently sized drops without accidental squirts or extra drops is one of the other reasons this test kit is easy to get consistent results with. Cap and shake the cuvette back and forth, then add a scoop of Reagent B, cap and shake back and forth again, and then you're ready to titrate. The titrator that Red Sea includes is one of my all-time favorite testing tools. It screws right on top of the cuvette and has a rubber gasket to prevent any spilling or splashes. And it firmly holds the one milliliter titration syringe directly over the center of the cuvette so that you can use one hand to shake and press the plunger on the syringe. I've always found that holding a small cuvette in a tiny syringe is just kind of awkward. And I much prefer Red Sea solution of using a titrator. The endpoint color on this test is also very apparent, which is super important since it tells you when the test is complete. The change being stark and obvious is another big reason why you can hand this test kit to any five hobbyists, regardless of their experience level with the test, and have them test the same aquarium water and get consistent test results across the board. Once you hit the endpoint, you compare the amount of titration solution you've used to the chart, and you've got your reading. When it comes to cost, the Red Sea Pro Calcium Test Kit is at its best value when purchased as a part of the Reef Foundations Pro Kit, which also includes alkalinity and magnesium, with all three tests coming together with a single hard case and titrator for $60. If you just want to get the calcium pro test on its own, it comes in a bit more spendy than other calcium test kits at 35 bucks. But once you have the kit with those premium components going forward, the reagent packs are around $18 for 75 tests, which comes out to only 24 cents per test, which is great. Being able to confidently monitor calcium in your tank with a reliable test kit is definitely going to give you the advantage when it comes to maintaining calcium and aiming for that optimal range for coral growth. But having a more intimate understanding of how calcium works in a reef tank, why corals need it, how they use it, and what kinds of things can affect your calcium level beyond coral growth is gonna give you the edge when your test kit tells you your calcium is too low or maybe too high. Ryan's got an awesome video right here you can watch. It's a five minute guide on calcium and alkalinity. Really good breakdown with a bunch of information that's gonna help you use this test kit to make sure that your corals are getting everything they need. So check it out.